Well, to be very honest, I was devastated. I was not really expecting for the coral reefs to be to be that bad. Yes, I've heard that the reef was damaged due to the operation of a coal plant in Toledo, but I was not expecting to be that bad. It was very, very, very bad. I've been to a lot of sanctuaries and um, dive spots. I've been to Santander, Sambuan, Mualbual, Camotes, Lapu-Lapu, Magtan, and whatnot, but this was the worst so far. It was barren. The life underwater doesn't look that good. It's painful to watch as fishes glide to that dirt underwater. Even us freedivers felt how dirty it was underwater. It was really heartbreaking. If only these people who was operating this coal plant saw what we saw in there, they would really change their minds. They would rethink their, their operation because it was really that bad. At first, I was really optimistic that I'll see a lot of good fishes, bountiful corals, but I was wrong. It was just, it was that bad. I am just really hoping that these people who's operating this call plant rethink their operation and somehow find a way on how to remedy this problem. I'm looking forward to that. To say that the coral reef in Toledo was totally damaged is just an understatement. What we noticed with the waters there was that it was murky and had white sediments and the sand was almost covered with a uh, muddy substance, which can tremendously affect in the growth of the coral reef community. Basing on our free dive um, experiences, we can tell that it was not an effect of overfishing or the usage of destructive fishing method. Um, what we noticed um, is that near the area where we dove, there were actually coal plants situated in that area. So we are hoping that that is something that um, some agencies and the LGU or um, national government can look into so a resolution can be provided to mitigate if not eradicate the worsening scenarios in the Toledo Reef. It was the most devastating, not so very nice experience because when you, when you check out the marine life, the corals, the uh, what, the aquatic plants, I guess, and there are only a handful of fishes that you can see. Um, Water-wise, I mean, the the condition of the water is it was very murky. No, lapok di ka kita yun. Even if dukul kay mo sa imuhang sa imuhang mga kuyo, magisod ka. No, mara sila nagglow tungod sa kalapo. And when you check out the corals right beneath the water, there is really something, no? Now, I really couldn't say if it's really because of the factory that is nearby or it's it's done by human beings, but that's it's not normal to have that kind of, so to speak, dust sa ilam sa water. So, it was really sad. It, and, ah, uh, makasad, makasad. Dili siya ni built ni experience for a first timer. It's near to death na gitana. And I hope the uh, community who is living nearby that area would do something about it so that, you know, that the life will prosper again, the colors will be back again, and 
pretty much ano um siguro it's it needs a community ano kanang effort for it to you know come alive Toledo's current situation is very alarming, not only to us tourists and divers, its marine life, but most especially to the local community. Knowing that the local community is also very dependent on fishing as a source of livelihood. I just hope that we could raise more awareness of what's happening underwater and what these could lead to. This is something that we could address as a community. Together we can overcome, together we can save our oceans. We still see the possibility of the rehabilitation of Toledo's reefs as well as preventing health risks to the people in that area. Uh, the Southside Freedivers of Cebu together with the representatives of Philippine Movement for Climate Justice Cebu Chapter will continue our goal on this movement. We are looking forward to an alternative and more environmentally friendly or sustainable livelihood. We are looking into the future here and we just can't bear to see the next generations not able to enjoy this bountiful living that we have right now. Eventually, we will all die. The goal is to not live forever, but to create something that will live forever and will make the world remember us.